Hi, I'm Scott. Welcome to Whiskey and Sunshine Off Grid. Today we're going to be talking about another tractor attachment, another modification, small one that we did to our machine to make it our own. If you haven't seen our highly successful video about our L2501 Kubota tractor, we'll put a link to it up here, and uh, you can you can check that out if you haven't seen it already. What we're going to talk about today is this gearbox. Um, I got this. I believe I've got it on Amazon, but it actually comes from a company, if you read right here, Great Day Incorporated. They make a lot of odd stuff. They make um, they make stuff for, not just for tractors. They make things for ATVs and pickups. And uh, I, I would compare them to a company kind of like DZ, the outfit that makes running boards. They make a lot of, of aftermarket cool stuff. Uh, I don't know, I guess people that do things outdoors. Um, this box i wanted because i wanted to be able to throw stuff in here like um you know maybe a small cooler uh chainsaw tools wedges bolt hook you know whatever you happen to want to carry around and there's a couple things that i really like about it number one it's made out of aluminum so it's never going to rust you know worst thing you're going to have to do is maybe put a little paint on it and I've had this for two years. It's, it's held up pretty good. There are some chips on it from tools being thrown in over the top. But uh, it works really good. And much like a saw haul, it mounts using these U-bolts. And it will mount to uh, most any box tubing or any roll bar because these ends will extend from either side. So you, you basically put it up there, measure from each side, put the box where you want it pull the bars out and tighten it up and then the box bolts to that and it actually is on a hinge and the reason I, I couldn't figure out why they put a hinge up here at first but uh, I think the reason that they did that even though it's bolted down solid is because a lot of times these ropes bars on like zero turn mowers or on ATVs might be angled one way or the other and if you didn't have this hinge you wouldn't be able to adjust whether or not your box was straight up and down so I think that those hinges with these little bolts down here, that's how they would adjust where that sits. Now, I haven't done really anything to modify this. This uh, gun rack setup was an option that came from the same company, so I paid a little bit of extra money for that. I'll, uh, I'll put the prices over in the video. You know, I'll put them in on the bottom. These are fairly expensive. I'm going to say that probably this box with the attaching hardware and the the gun rack, if you want to call it that, was probably close to $300. But, I mean, it's aluminum, and it's expensive. Some people claim they don't like them because they say they're loud and they're rattly. Well, this one, that rattles a little bit. But you know what? It's a tractor. It makes noises. There are other things on here that rattle. I have tire chains on here year-round. They make noise, too. So if the rattling bothers you all you have to do is take a tube of like black silicone and squirt some silicone down in that hole that'll stop that from rattling but i actually like the screening because if something happens and you get dirt in there which you're gonna if you're carrying chains and wedges and tools and stuff like that it filters out through the bottom one thing i have done to modify it simple piece of black mud flap and i cut it square so that it's just a little bit bigger than the top and in the winter time that keeps the snow from building up inside the box i i actually drilled a couple holes in the top here that you can see and what i do is i take some heavy duty wire ties or tie wraps whatever you want to call them and i put them through there loosely for hinges so i can flip it back this way from the driver's seat and be able to access the stuff that's in the box and when you leave this down like this it keeps snow in the winter time out so it keeps it from being one big ball of snow and ice and it works really good. I'm really happy I, I, I've done it. I only took it off for the video because I, I didn't want to have this all cluttered up. I wanted everybody to see exactly what comes from the factory. But as soon as I'm done with this video, I'm going to put this back on here and then there it's going to stay. I do keep a couple of bungee cords usually on here. Uh, I use them putting my tire chains on sometimes to hold, you know, for an extra hand to hold the uh, chains tight while I go to the, from the inside to the out. Also, it's a tractor. It's always nice to have bungee cords on here to hold stuff if you need it. Sometimes I use them to hold a birch hook, a bolt hook, secure so it doesn't fall out of the expanded metal because I'll have it hanging through one of these holes 
And the last thing you want is to run over a bolt hook and pop a thousand dollar tire. I also usually keep a soft bungee cord from one side to the other to hold this top down. And then when I want to get in there, I just pop it out of the way and I can, I can lift the top up. Again, right from the driver's seat, it works great. So uh, yeah, I've had really good luck with this thing. I'm really happy I bought it. The toolboxes that come on these tractors are very, very small. You don't really have much room in them for anything. So having something, you know, a lot of people will bolt ammo cans to their tractors, and you can do that, that's fine. I've, I've done that, my old tractor had an ammo can on it. I just thought, hey, new tractor, I'm gonna go with something completely different and buy the good stuff for this one. So that's kind of what I've done. It's called a tra tractor tool tray, is what it is called in their product description. So that's Great Day Incorporated, and the name of the actual item is a tractor tool tray, and I'm sure they'll have these uh, racks uh, listed right there as an accessory to go with them. We use them for a lot and a lot more than just guns. You can put rakes, shovels, anything you want, a, a, a PV or a picaroon, any, anything you want will go in here in the, the Velcro. So it holds whatever you want right in place. And uh, the only thing you gotta watch out for is if you put anything sharp like a shovel there, you don't, you don't wanna be walking into the shovel and cut yourself. So you wanna keep that in mind. But uh, yeah, so. The tractor tool tray, there you have it, in a nutshell. This is Scott, Whiskey and Sunshine, Off Grid. If you please uh, like if you like the video, subscribe, ring the bell, all that stuff. Thanks for watching.